Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy data from any worksheet to any other worksheet using Excel VBA. And it doesn't matter if the worksheet is in a different workbook or if the workbook is even closed. Now, the beauty of what I'm going to show you is that you can apply the code to any worksheet and it doesn't really change that much. So you can take this code and use it in your VBA projects. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you like this video, please click on the like button below. And if you'd like to get notified of my upcoming videos, then please click on the subscribe button and the notify bell beside it. So let's have a look at a real basic copy operation. And we're going to do it manually. Now, what we have here is just some very simple random data. Now, if we want to copy the data, we highlight the data and then we copy and paste it somewhere. But the first thing we always need to know is where is the range what worksheet it's on and what workbook the worksheet is in. So these three things are always important when we're copying our data and when we're pasting our data. So for example, here I'm going to copy A1 to B15 I'm, and that's on the worksheet source and it's in the current workbook, which is called copy between worksheets. And I want to copy that to D1. So this is on the same source worksheet and not only that, it's also in the same workbook. So we basically do control C and then we would do control V. And we just make it a bit wider there. Now, when we're doing it in VBA, we have to do something similar. We have to specify the name of the workbook, the worksheet, and the range that we're going to use. But it's very, very straightforward to do it. So let's go ahead and write the VBA code to do this. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to delete this data so that we can see that our VBA worked correctly. And then we press Alt F11 to enter the Visual Basic Editor. And once in the editor, we do right click to create a module. And the module is where our subs go. And our subs is where our code goes. Now the subs are also called macros. So we're just gonna call this one copy data. Now what we want to do in VBA quite simply is we wanna have a source range like this. And we want to copy and then we want to have a destination range and we want to do a paste special on that. And that's going to be Excel paste values. So the key here is how we get the source and how we get the destination. So we do, we're going to declare these first, first of all, before we use them. And we declare them as ranges. So now we've got our source and destination variables. And what we want to do is we want to set our range source to equal something like this. We want it to equal a workbook. And this workbook contains a worksheet. And this worksheet contains the range that we want to use. So this is always when we're dealing with a range. It's always belonged to a worksheet and it's always belonged to a workbook. So let's do set range source. Now we know that our range is equal to A1. So that's our range. Now our worksheet, we know it's in the worksheets collection and it's called source. So we use source like this. And then we wanna specify the workbook that it belongs to. And the workbook is the current workbook. So we just use this workbook. And there we have the three parts of our source. Now our destination is going to copy to cell D1. So we'll basically just copy this again. And now we'll set our destination. Our workbook and worksheet is the same. So the only thing that we have to change is D1. So let's see how this code works. We'll do a debug compile, make sure everything is okay. And then let's get rid of these fields just so that we can see it a bit easier here. And let's run the code. And you can see that it copied perfectly. Now, imagine that we want to copy to this destination worksheet. So we want to copy to the destination worksheet. So what do we do? It's very simple. What we do is we just change our destination worksheet here to destination. And that's going to copy to range D1 in our destination worksheet. So let's press F5, run the code. You can see that it went to D1. Now imagine we want to do to A1 on this worksheet. Well, then it's just a simple matter of changing our range to A1. And then we run the code 
and you can see it copied. Now imagine we want to copy from the destination worksheet back to, we'll say, the report worksheet. So we want to copy from destination to report. So how do we do it? Well, again, it's just the same thing. So our source this time is called the destination worksheet. And our report is the name of our destination. So we're just changing it in here. So the first line is always our source. And the second line is always our destination. Let's run this code. And you can see that it copies the value perfectly. So now imagine we want to copy to a worksheet that's in a different workbook than where the code is. So how do we go about doing that? Well, this is where it gets interesting. So let's have a look at another workbook first of all. So we've got another workbook here. It's just called Other File. And we just open this workbook and you can see it's got sheet one. So we've already got the data from when I copied before, but let's delete this data. So this sheet is now empty. We'll save it and we'll close this file. So how do we write the code to open and copy to this file? Well, we just need a few lines of code here. So we use file name to build the file name. So this is just a string of the file name and we set the file name to equal. So it's going to be in the current folder. So that's this workbook and that's path. So that's the, the same folder as the current workbook. And what we want next is just to build a name. We want to use this. Now the problem with just using this is that on certain, on certain operating systems like the Mac, or if people use different region settings, it can cause problems. So instead of using this, what we use is application and we use path separator. And in VBA, we'll basically change to whatever it, it needs for the current system. And then of course, we're just gonna put in the file name. So other file.xl. So there we have the file name, just that simple. The next thing we want to do is create the workbook. So we say dim workbook, WK as workbook, and we set the workbook equal to workbooks and open. So we're opening the workbook and we're opening it with the file name. Now at the end, when we finish, what we'll do is we'll save it. So we'll close the workbook and we'll say save changes equals true. So what we do here then our source is going to be the source as it was. So we'll just go back to the source as it was on the source worksheet. And we want to write out to the other workbook. So we basically take workbook here and we replace this workbook with workbook. So we've got workbook, worksheets, and then the worksheet name is, is sheet one. And our range is going to be the same. We're going to write to A1. So let's run this code and see exactly what happens. So run the code, it's opened the worksheet and it's closed it again. It's happened very quickly, so we didn't see it. So we'll go in and have a look and just see what's in other file. And you can see now that other file has the data. So sheet one in other file has the data. Now if we wanted to copy it the other way around, so imagine this time what we're going to do is we'll close this file and we're going to open and we're going to we're going to copy from sheet one in other file to our report. So how do we do that? So again, it's just a matter of changing what's on these lines. So our source is going to be workbook and it's sheet one and the range is going to be the same. And we're going to write to the report worksheet and that's in the current workbook. So we change the workbook. Now let me just get rid of this space. And then we don't, we don't in this case, we can actually just open it. If we like, we can open it to be read only. And the reason is that we don't, so we don't accidentally overwrite stuff. And we can say read only is true. And this means also if someone has it open, we can open it no problem. So our source again is the one we're opening. And what we're doing is we're gonna copy it to report. So let's just, just to make sure that it's copying exactly the data we expect it to. So let's change this one. We'll just say A, B, D, E, F. And we'll just change the numbers to 9999. So just want to be clear that this is exactly the data that it copied. So let's bring up our code here like this and let's run it. And you can see that it wrote the data as we expected in report and it's ABCDEF999. So you can see how this works. So as I said at the start, using copy and paste special is good if you're just doing a once-off copy with a lot of data. But if you're going to be doing lots of copying, then using 
something else like assignment is better. So let's just see how the code changes if we want to copy in a different manner. So again, this time we're going to go back to source and we're just going to copy from source. So we're going to copy from A1 to D1. So all this, and we're going to just put it in D1 to E15. So in that case, the way we copy by assignment is we normally say destination dot value equals range source dot value. And we don't need copy or anything like this. Now we can just comment out these lines here because we don't need them. And so again, we know that we're going to be copying from source and we know that we're going to be copying to source and it's in the current workbook. And it's going to be copying D1. Now, the one difference with the assignment is when we copy, we have to resize the destination to match the source. Otherwise, we'll get, we'll get an error or we won't get all the data depending on what way it goes. So we can easily resize like this. We just say set to destination equal itself and then we'll resize it. And how we resize it is basically just to the source size. So the source rows.count and that gives us the size in rows and the size in columns is basically very similar. And we just say columns.count. Now let me just stretch this a bit. And so now our destination is the correct size and when we assign it here, it should be perfect. So let's run this code. You can see that it worked as we expected. So the key in both situations when we're copying, using copy paste or assignment, you can see that in both cases, it's just a matter of getting the correct range. And we get the range always getting the workbook, getting the worksheet, getting the range. So the only thing that ever changes here when, the work, when we're getting from a different worksheet is what's on these two lines. So the rest of our code doesn't change because it's going to use whatever destination we give us, we give it and whatever source that we give it. So this is very important to understand. So in this video, I showed you how to copy data between any two worksheets. And this is even if the worksheet is in a different workbook or if it's in the current workbook. Now, if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you'd like to get notified of my upcoming videos, then click on the subscribe button below. If you've got any comments or queries, you can leave them in the comment section underneath the video. And if you wanna get the source code for this video, then click on the link in the description below and you can download the source code. I hope to see you on the next video.